Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm your host Rahul with another quick update about bitcoins. Bitcoin is down 3% on the daily and altcoins are getting wrecked. So this was a very unexpected correction I should say because if you did see the last uh, update I gave you that was yesterday on Bitcoin I clearly told you guys that this fake out that we had yesterday the Monday candle definitely showed that there was some amount of bullishness and some big move happening based on past price action with fake outs because fake outs generally happen before a big move you know is going to happen that's how uh, whales function that's how whales plan on pumping and liquidating people so right now um, what happened i think the whales were like okay there are a lot of people bullish there were too many long positions opened and it's time to short and liquidate all of them out of their positions so that's what exactly happened so let me just uh, give you an overview of what's happening and what you guys can expect in the next coming couple of days remember it's only going to be my, be my opinions and not financial advice so looking at the crypto bubbles you can see it is a nice bath of red okay you can see um, right yesterday everything was up around 4 5% there was nice healthy corrections all around of around 2% but right now things have gotten worse um bitcoin in the daily uh, let me show you what's happening with the macd if you do look at the macd we can see that we had a nice bearish crossover which um, definitely shows that what you tell momentum is slowly coming down okay so momentum is slowly coming down and that is the exact opposite of what we need right now especially when it's a wednesday because uh, usually wednesdays is when we have peak volumes okay because it's the mid of the week it's when everything's hot is it's when the weekend got over we have a nice idea what's happening from monday and tuesday and you know wednesday and thursdays are usually hot before friday sets in and uh, volumes start dying again but right now we are in a bad situation for a wednesday uh, again of course all these charts do help do help us a lot but at the end of the day it's just psychology and whale activity so right now um, thinking from a whale point of view thinking from a manipulative point of view i think uh, they have pretty much done their job of liquidating people and right now a lot of short positions are going to be open so there is a good chance that we might uh, have a nice recovery out of this uh, again if you guys are asking me about predictions i'm going to be totally honest with you right now we are being range bound by this 200 day moving average okay the last time we hit it was over here on the 20th of march and ever since then it's been almost uh, i think 10 days exactly 10 days uh, we are being pushed below that 200 day moving average so unless we break that 200 day moving average uh, unless we break this 200 day moving average again or we break below this level of support or break below this level of support i cannot give you a definite uh, prediction that uh, satisfies me okay like i'm not talking out of the box i'm not talking uh, just for views because i'm totally honest over here with you guys and unless i see a breakout of the 200 day moving average or a breakout of these two major support levels um, there is no progress happening with uh, these uh, candles okay so let me just uh, get rid of these and uh, going into the one hour time frame right now uh, you can see that we are in somewhat of a downward channel okay we are in a downward channel and i've kept telling you guys in the past that downward channels are somewhat bullish okay because it's nothing to do with the channel but whenever something pumps i tell you a good amount of correction is needed and something dumps a good pump is needed okay that's how the markets work that's how whales work that's how all of us make money it's a balance of green and red so right now we are in this descending channel so i would say that in case there is a small amount of momentum there is going to be a good chance that we might pump out of this downward channel so if you are asking me rahul um, how do i know that we are either going to dump or pump uh, one main thing i'll be waiting for is firstly from a bearish point of view okay uh, if we do fall down okay i definitely feel we are going to fall down from here if you do see us breaking this which is totally okay if we do recover with on that same candle and come back up things are fine it's just going to be another fake out like this but if you do see a bearish retest like this okay if you do see a bearish retest like this and then we fall down, 
down that might uh, start us into a nice correction maybe for a whole week maybe till the end of this week we might go as low as 42000 or our next psychological support level which is at 40000 okay uh, and if Bitcoin hits this 40,000 level, altcoins are going to get wrecked, okay? They're at least going to go down another 10, 20, even 30%. So keeping that in mind, uh, that is the bearish scenario. From a bullish point of view, again, we are going to be bound by this uh, trend line, uh, by this downward trend line. So what I feel is going to happen is uh, we might, you know, somewhat come down, pump out of here, break this level of support go up here and get rejected on this if we do get rejected on this come down and reject again on this level of support which would be around 45,500, then this would be a nice buying area for you guys and we might break out of it going somewhere back to around 47,700 or that range so these are two things i want you guys to look out again if you guys have more doubts about your altcoins or anything please put it down in the comment box um remember we are right now in the road to 2000 subscribers so do consider joining the channel and if you found this content helpful please hit that like button for me and i will see you all in the next video bye